12 News is honoring those who serve. Tonight, a World War II veteran is going home. Marine Sergeant Alan Akins passed away in June, but today his final journey home began with the help of some very special people. Our brother is right now. A final prayer. So as a final respect, I'd like to have everyone uncover if you're covered, and we'll say a short prayer. The Combat Veterans Association escorting Sergeant Akins remains through Sky Harbor one last time. Alan, or Al as his friends called him, starting his journey home. He was a very proud Marine. He entered when he was 16 years of age, served in the Pacific, he was on Guam, Guadalcanal, Iwo Jima. He was there when the flag was raised at Mount Siribachi in Iwo Jima, a memory that he cherished his entire life. He told the story of the battle for Iwo Jima and how hopeless he felt at times in a 2008 interview. And I thought that I would never be home again. I just gave up the idea of ever being, uh, go back alive. And I turned like this and I see him raising the flag. And I said to my friends, it looks like we've got a chance of getting back home. I don't think there's a day goes by that I don't think of the Iwo Jima flag. Today, another U.S. flag was presented, this one by the Honor Guard, to pay respect to this Marine who fought so hard for his country. Sergeant Akins will be escorted by Sergeant Amy Doner back to family in Indiana, where he'll be laid to rest with his wife, Camille, herself a retired Marine who he lovingly called Sarge. Together, the principles that Alan Sarge instilled will continue to resonate in the family for generations to come. Honesty, uh, commitment, loyalty, and provide any service you can to your community and more importantly to the United States. After a lifetime of service and sacrifice, this sergeant is finally off duty. Dad's going home. He's escorted by some great people, and the winds are behind him. He'll be safe. We thank him for his service. We love honoring those who serve. If you know of a hero to nominate, call us at 602-444-1212, or you can drop us an email at connect at 12news.com.